It had been a long trip for these three cowboys and cowgirls. Over a week on the old dusty trail, all leading up to the biggest and baddest and crowdedest park of the whole journey. You got Chris, the ringleader, the oldest of the bunch, but is by far the least mature. Sophie, the grizzled veteran of the group, 10 years old and 200 coasters down, sporting an odd obsession with SNS screaming swings. And finally, Amy, the Punisher, the Enforcer. She's the smallest, but she's by far the loudest, and she runs the show. Together, they arrive at Cedar Point, ready to ride. But would Cedar Point be ready for them? Sophie, this has been an epic trip so far, would you say? Yeah. Epic coaster trip. But it's about to get even more epic because it's a beautiful day, and we are at Cedar Point. And this is my first time in two years, and Sophie's first time ever. So, what are you most excited for here? Uh, I kind of, I kind of want to ride to Avenger and see what you really like about it. My number one overall coaster? Yeah. Okay. So, we're getting Fastlane Plus. July 3rd, it's going to be very crowded. It's quite expensive, but gotta do it. My goal is to ride every single coaster here today. Sophie, can't do it. Too much rough and tense stuff here, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, so we stayed at the Cedar Point Express Hotel. Nice hotel, got coasters all over the walls. And um, because of that, we got early entry, and we're gonna hit up the brand new, new for 2023, Boardwalk and Wild Bounce. Uh, it's weird not seeing Wicked Twister here. Kind of sad. So before this Wild Mouse opened, everyone says, oh, we gotta ride till we get the cheese car. And we got the cheese car on the first try, and Sophie's not happy about it. No, what are you running away from on the cheese? Just the, the whole purpose of, a wild, of the Wild Mouse is that you're running away from the cat. Yeah. But the cat doesn't want the cheese. But the mouse wants the cheese. No. You're running away no, from all the other mice. No, that's, that's what the spinning mouse is. It's based off all of right. the mouse. I gotta shut you down there. <laughs> Sophie's big mad. What are you gonna do? We just got off Gatekeeper or Gate Sleeper, as some people say. It is pretty mild, but pretty smooth. Smoother than X Flight. Sophie, what do you think? I think I think it was fun. I think anyone could ride that if they agreed to it. So yeah. It's a pretty good way to start your day. Um, it's not gonna rip your face off or anything, but all in all, pretty good. Uh, what's what's better, X Flight or Gatekeeper? Um, hopefully, well, they're like equal. Amy, X Flight or Gatekeeper? What do you think? Jerusalem Tulip Poozy Poozly Loot. What? You wanna give the camera a besos? If Amy was a wild mouse character, which one would she be? Chase. No, she'd be the cheese, because she smells like cheese. What a view. Amy, what do you think of this enormous view? She's trying to unbuckle the seatbelt, which is not cool. Sophie, are you ready for a nap? No. All right, well, too bad. We're going to Iron Dragon anyway. All right, so we just rode the coaster that shares my birthday, or my birth year, Iron Dragon. Sophie, what'd you think? I think it brought back old memories of me. 
ninja. Yeah. A little different than Vortex. Riding Vortex than this is a big difference, but this is still pretty fun, especially at the end. Doing some construction over here on the dragster site. I do believe we'll be seeing a little spike in activity around this area soon. Striker. Yes. I weirdly agree too. Even though it has taller, longer, has more stuff, still enjoyed Valraven more. But I think my original fandom for Valraven is kind of starting to fade. It's still a fun ride, but I think not top 50 or even maybe top 100. We'll I, see. I think Diabolical is the best. Diabolical, Diabolical is the best. I think Griffin's the best. Griffin? Diabolical. Okay. So there you have it. All right, Sophie. So 21 years ago, I came to this park for the first time, and I saw this thing I nearly wet my pants. Now it's time for you to wet your pants. Are you scared? No. You're a lot braver than I was in 2002, that's for sure. Like, I've never ridden any Sophie just took on the first ever Giga Coaster. Sophie? Was it eh or yeah or what? Eh. Eh. I mean, it was bumpy and I could feel myself blacking out. <laughs> On the first turn, yeah. The it definitely makes you gray out a little bit, lose your vision. Uh, other than that, long ride? It was a long ride, but I don't really appreciate Pretty that fun. one. Yeah. It was, it was like boring and rough and just too much. You know, two years ago, I guess, I guess 2020, I had a pretty bad ride on this. 2021 redeemed itself, it was great. This was not that good, so I think I'm knocking this back down. <laughs> Sophie just took on Maverick for the first time ever. Her first Blitz Coaster, I guess, other than Cheetah Hunt, which doesn't really count. What do you think, Sophie? I think it was fun, but the headrest could be improved. Yes, and then the snappy turns. Yeah. It's a little too much. Too, too uncomfortable. Stangle. Not a fan of your stangle dives, man. Maverick, learning just about as well as normal. We rode towards the front this time, so the drop wasn't quite as crazy for Sophie. But, you know, typical snappiness. The air time is a little bit weak, but love the speed. Solid ride all around, but uh, top 50 for sure. Top uh, 5 or 10, no way. Well, of all the world-class coasters they have here at Cedar Point, Sophie thinks that Skyhawk was the best. The best ride in the park. Go figure. Amy, this is your time to shine. Train ride's over, girl. Gotta get back in line. All right, Sophie, you ready to take on my number one overall coaster? Yeah. Here we go. All right, Sophie, you just rode. The best coaster in the world, in my opinion. Steel Vengeance, what'd you think? I think it was top five movie. Mm -hmm. It was smooth, it had a lot of inversions, and it was, it had air time, it but was very long. is it number one? We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We're gonna try to get another ride later, because that was good. We didn't get back row, we got row eight, which was still pretty good. But I think it's running great this year, and as of now, I'm still gonna put it number one. Amy, what'd you think about Steel Vengeance? What are you doing? What do you think about your steak salad? Alright, the girls are gonna chill for a while. It's a little hot out here. Sophie, we wanna overload her, so they're chilling out. I'm gonna ride the other six coasters that she can't ride. Alright, 
Jim and I, well, didn't race, got stapled. And I'm glad I didn't take Sophie on this because even though it's generally smooth, there are some really bad potholes on that thing. Um, still love Gemini, but not the best ride. <laughs> Guys, I love Magnum. I don't know what to say. It's, it might be the best coaster in the world. I mean, Steel Vengeance, eh, pretty good. Magnum might be the best coaster in the world. Or, or, or not, I don't know. It's just fun. That right, corkscrew. I gotta say, you know, I said it was the worst coaster in Ohio, and uh, it still might be, but the first half of that ride is actually pretty intense and kind of a gut punch. So the second half is pretty rickety and not that good, but first half, you know, kind of redeems itself. Not bad. All right, row blue streak, very back row. Um, that was rough as holy freaking hell, but man, the airtime in the first half is nuts. Okay, Raptor, absolutely amazing. Um, it couldn't be any smoother, honestly. I remember the thing being rattly at one point. So unbelievably smooth, so aggressive, so whippy. I don't think I can put it ahead of Montu right now, but it is easily the second best invert in the country. I know I've kind of trashed Rugru in the past, but it's pretty solid. You know, it's kind of lacking that one standout element. But the whole ride's pretty smooth, pretty intense, pretty long. Can't complain. All right, so we took about a two hour bio break, but we are back and ready to ride my number one and your future number one, Steel Vengeance. So could you break it? It broke. It broke. It broke. It's the first time we've had a breakage today, but you know, one out of 16 ain't bad. So Sophie broke Steel Vengeance. She also broke Maverick. So um, you're a curse. Do not break the mine train, because that's where we're going next. Alright, so Cedar Creek mine ride. We got jerked around a little bit. Was it fun? Uh, it was okay. It was okay. It was surprisingly good. I haven't ridden that in a long time. Pretty smooth, pretty intense, pretty long. Can't complain, right? Sophie, in my quest to ride every single coaster in this park today, I have done 14, and I only need two more. And those two are what? Kitty coasters. The kitty coaster. So, it's 8 o'clock, let's do them now. Sophie, I was so close. I was so close. I had 15 out of 16 coasters, and I've been rejected by Wilderness Run because you are. Two times. You are no longer. This is the end of an era. You can't give me kitty credits anymore. Most coasters that require a, a dog kid to ride, so the kid has to be under 54 inches. And Sophie, come over here. This is a sad day. Sophie is 57 inches tall. Sophie, you're not a kid anymore. How's it feel? It feels like a great. Well, bad news, no more kitty credits. Good news, you can ride rides like Madugani. So. Good trade-off? No. How was Woodstock Express? 
pretty good. Uh, it was really good. Yeah. Surprisingly intense for a family coaster. So, hey, let's go ride Steel Vengeance again and ride some flats. What do you say? Okay. Let's do it. Hey, Sophie. Is this a credit? Good call. Absolutely not. Sophie, so um, Frontier Town's having a bad day. Bad night, at least. Got yeah, Steel Vengeance over there, which looks like it may have gotten evac off the lift. Because that was where we were going, so that stinks. We can't get another ride. And then over here, you got Maverick. Also down. This has just been down for a while now, so... You know, hmm, it's been a pretty good day at Cedar Point, but man, this is kind of a weird ending. So with all the good coasters closed, Sophie says, more Skyhawk. Word on the street is that Steel Ventures is reopening. Everyone's excited. Sophie, so we're walking to Frontierland. So quiet over here by Steel Vengeance, but it's open and we get a back row ride verdict. Yes. Best ride in the world? Uh, not in the world, because... Because Skyhawk exists? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, best coaster in the park. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay. At least I got her to say that. Yeah. So epic back row ride, still my number one. Sorry Magnum, sorry Area 4, sorry Fury. Only one ride in Magnum today, but it was magnificent. That's gonna do it for an epic day at Cedar Point. We say goodbye at closing. Sophie, is park big enough for you? Yeah. This lighting is crazy. So, um, Rode all but one coaster, Steel Vengeance twice, bunch of flats, Skyhawk three times, thanks to Soph. So, I think she has a new number one coaster. We'll see when she ranks them up later on this year. So, that's all. That's the last big trip, a uh, big, big uh, park on this trip. We are going to Stricker's Grove tomorrow, stopping by Six Flags St. Louis on the way home. And that's it for this epic summer road trip. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.